Hello there, my beautiful Leos. This is something that I wanted to try and see for a daily. And I know, hello, I'm on camera. I've been on camera before, but I haven't been on in a while. And we are going to do a cut the deck daily where I'm going to shuffle the deck and I'm going to then cut the deck on camera for each placement and a spread and see what your day is for tomorrow. That is Monday, June 10th, I believe. So we're going to start it off with a angel card to see what angel message is with you for the day. I know some of my head is cut off. It's just a weird position that I have this because I usually have it positioned towards the desk. So let's see what we have as your angel. And you have attracting, not chasing. All right. So this card says anything or anyone you chase after will run the other way. Because of the fears underlying chasing energy, instead attract what you need by sending out love, gratitude, and welcoming energy. So anything that you are trying to have really, 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 really bad right now or anyone or any type of situation, they are wanting you to release your grip and be more in the energy of attracting it towards you instead of the energy of feeling like you need it to happen. So some of you may be feeling that way. Let's see what we have here. There could be something that comes up today that makes you feel tempted to go after it. And the universe is really saying to you, let it come to you. It's definitely that let it come to you type of energy. So let's see what your overall theme card in the tarot is for the day. And you have challenging times with the five of wands. So there could definitely be a strong indication that there is some feeling that comes up or some urge that comes up today that may be a little bit difficult or challenging to deal with. There could be a choice that you have to make and it could be revolving your passions and your direction and where you feel like you need to go. And the universe is really telling you, sit in the energy of love and unconditional energy and contentment and peace where you don't put that pressure on it, especially emotionally. So let's see what card Metatron has here for you, Leo, for the day. And Metatron has card number eight with leadership answer the call. All right. So there is definitely something that you want. Someone that you want, some sort of reality that you want, some sort of experience that you want. And because of the feeling that you don't have it figured out or you don't have it yet is definitely coming up or wanting to be identified today and worked on. Ooh. And with Metatron giving you leadership with Answer the Call, this is because you are meant to do this. You know, when you feel that urge to be something or have something or do something, and a lot of the times those feelings come because you can you have those intuitive energies that you have experienced it or you know you're going to experience it and intuition goes hand in hand with patience because a lot of the times we get a feeling or we get a thought or we get a urge or temptation to do something or an attraction or a magnetized energy to do something and they're like you will figure out why the answer is coming your way so let's see what your tea leaf energy is. This deck is pretty big, so it's like hard. Let's see. You have the egg with success assured with good plans and hard work. Exactly. So being in the energy of attracting it, putting in the hard work, putting in the effort towards yourself, putting in that energy that you want to be and you want to have. Let's get you another tea leaf here. Leo. And you also have the arrow. Mm -hmm. You are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. Exactly. So release that worry, release that resistance, release that, well, yeah, I'm on the right path, but where is it yet? 
especially with the egg, you know, especially with the egg energy, hatching energy, arrow, going to hit the mark. Let's get you one more tea leaf. And you have the diamond. Mm -hmm. You will be receiving or giving a precious gift. Okay, so with all this energy coming through here for you, it's like there is some sort of feeling of knowing of having something and being something and receiving something even and it is in the position of you maybe feeling uncertain of which way to go and they're like somehow some way you're on the right path although there is not a huge sign in front of you saying leo this is it you made the right choice keep going they are trying to give you that through this reading because it's almost like without that sign, without that obvious energy in front of you of instant gratification, it could be causing you a little bit of stress or feeling of, well, I want to know the answer now and I want to have it now and I need to have it now. And there are things that you are being called to do that will bring it to you without you having to have that feeling or resistance towards it. So let's see what Angel is also with you for the day, Leo. And you have Open Your Heart with Archangel Shamil. We thank you, Shamil, for removing the barriers around my heart. Yeah. Because I do feel like that feeling of not having something that you are wanting could be causing a type of energy of Feeling a bit, what's the word I'm looking for? Mm, resistance even to self, where it's almost like, well, why don't we know the answer? We should know the answer. We should know if we're on the right path. We made this decision. And it's like, you answered the call to something. Keep going. Keep continuing on. There are going to be hurdles that you need to go over, but there are also going to be these beautiful moments and there is something here that is causing a slight rift in your energy. So let's see exactly what your advice is here. You got a card that decided to fly down, helpless and hopeless, with the Eight of Swords. Mm-hmm. Now you have Eight, Eight here. And the day that this is going out, you received... The triple eights. So the eights are definitely coming your in, in, coming in. So this definitely could have to do with your stability, your abundance. And the fact that the eight of swords is your advice. They want you to work with and through the mind. Opposed to allowing your mind to work against you. And that's why in this card, this person is holding keys because you're unlocking new levels. And when you unlock new levels, you unlock new levels of energy within yourself, body, mind, soul. So let's see what your outcome is for the day here, Leo. And you have Blossom with Judgment. Okay, so there's definitely going to be something that you have been working on from the past that may come up today. And I feel like it could be very much around you. You know, I feel like it could be a risk energy because of the leadership. But I want to see what is this specifically? What is this that Leo is specifically feeling this challenge on that is coming through three of swords? Yeah. Something feeling like it's not working out for you or there could be a transition or change in your life or feeling that hurt. Let's see what else. The five of pentacles. Some of you may, you know, be transitioning the way you make money and you may have thought that you were going to always have this or always want this or always be in the opportunity aspect of something or you may even have to let people down at this time if you are changing jobs and answering a different call literally um so i do see, feel like some of you may have to make some financial decisions um this could be what's surrounding it you do have the egg and you also have the seven of pentacles okay 
So that's why they're giving you the energy of the arrow because they're trying to tell you that like you are on the right path. You know, your decisions don't need to be made and your contemplation doesn't need to be made in a stressful energy. It could be logically thought through. It doesn't have to be fearfully thought through. So let's clarify the one more time. And you have the four of swords. Exactly. Peace. Knowing. Going towards what you feel is right for you. I want to clarify that four of swords. Of course, they would give me an inaction card. I want to see like if you're going to do anything. Nine of swords. Okay, so there's a lot of possible overthinking at this moment. Hopes for things. And the universe really wants you to trust it and wants you just to continue on instead of letting these moments stop you. Why is the nine of swords here? You're definitely stressing out some sort of financial decision. You have two flyers with the four of, so, four of wands and the four of pentacles. Yeah, I feel like some of you either enjoyed doing something or enjoyed working somewhere, but maybe you just don't feel like it's doing what it used to do for you, whether make you be make you happy or make you feel financially fulfilled or stable. And some of you may be making some decisions of where you house your energy if uh, for money, if that makes sense. And that may be something totally different or doing something more, doing something less or doing something totally not in the energy of what you were. So they want you to know that it is possible and it is capable and you don't have to stress as much mentally that you than you are. So let's see what your ending oracle is here for you, Leo. We're going to get it from the wisdom of the hidden realms here for you for the day. There definitely looks like you may be stressing about this. And... The good news is, is that you have power to move past anything. And that's exactly what your energy is being guided towards. So let's see. You have the Desert Prince with card number 19. Survival and false promises. Some of you born on the 19th. It doesn't have to be. It's just the energy. I'm going to read to you the interpretation of this card. When you stumble upon the desert prince, you receive a gift. The plant life that exists in the desert environment is well defended, tough, and succulent, even though it gets little or no water. In spite of external conditions, extraordinary life can form and thrive. Exactly. And I feel like that's what this reading is trying to tell you. Like, despite what you may be going through at the moment, it doesn't mean that amazing things still can't happen. Be tough, have courage, and dare to dream no matter what the circumstances. It may seem to be a hard time, but not only will you survive, you will thrive. In spite of conditions, you'll succeed. Dry spells are also true tests of faith and courage. Expect nothing less than what is in your most precious dreams and watch miracles manifest. Exactly. And that's exactly why you have Open Your Heart and Answer the Call of trusting that although it may feel like a dry moment for you and there's no beautiful feelings or things coming your way, it doesn't mean that that's not what is possible and what's there. So this is what I have here for you, Leo. I hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are at in the world. And I'll see and talk to all of y'all very, very soon. Bye now.